we're back with Wayne's Warehouse again on Two Wheels, where I spend your money. I love it. As long as it's not my money, I don't care. I'm going to spend as little as maybe a tenner, right the way through to several thousand pounds, in the way of bolt-on bits and pieces to go on your bike. Now, for example, there are impractical things and practical things. We'll start with something reasonably practical, say, for example, a tax disc holder. We all need them. Custom bike, you'd bung a chrome one on. Sports bike, you might want to put one on with a bit of colour. And you can buy these things for as little as a quid, right the way through to 20, 30 pounds for real pose. If you're going doing a bit of touring, you're going places, you might want to take something to try and avoid the problem of being stuck out in the open in the way of a puncture. You can put preventatives in the tyre, but you can also buy repair kits such as this, and that for around £20 will get you home safely. And I mentioned touring, so you might want a screen or something like that for as little as 40 quid on, say, a retro style bike, on your Bandits, on your XJRs and so on, and that will throw the air away from your face or your body just to help a little bit if you're going touring and they're easily on and off so you can even take it off when you don't fancy it on if you're going touring you might want to put something like that which is a scott oiling device something just to uh, help extend the life of your chain if you're going to do the miles but we've got loads of posy stuff around us here we've got exhaust for example well i've spoke about exhaust before and in fact you should have been watching several weeks ago and we spoke and talked about exhaust that you can buy for your bike this fancy stuff like this, which you're not really needy because you have a mud guard already, but let's be fair, it's got a bit of pose. This is a carbon fibre one, and you can get them for around £50 up to several hundred, depending on the brand and how fancy you want it. But I do like spending big bucks, and we're going to talk some big bucks in a minute. Performance parts, parts that improve your bike to go quicker, to make it lighter, and to stop. Stopping brake hoses. Why would you put some brake hoses on? You've got them already, you might ask. Well, rubber brake hoses, after several years, they start to flex. When you pull the lever, the pipe expands very, very slightly. It makes your brakes less efficient. So, people like these, Goodrich, and, and several other people will produce a brake hose that's stainless steel and got stainless steel fittings on the end there, and that stops any flex, makes your brakes really, really efficient. Now, if you have got some big-time hard-earned cash, just check that out. That is £1,500 worth, yes, £1,500 quid worth of clock. You've already got a clock on your bike. This people, stack, they're the people who put the indicating devices on the fairings of your race bikes. Rev counter, pressure gauge, temperature gauge, all those features. £1,500 quid, I'll just put that one back very, very carefully. They go with such as these. Look at them, they're fantastic. Dimag wheels cost you a thousand pounds to put a performance set of wheels on your bike plus tires of course and you've already got wheels <gasps> but I'm not going to stop at that I'm going to show you a, a fire blade fitted with a single sided swinging arm and a few other little bits and pieces that is going to spend some big bucks and it's over here so here we are look at this little baby now then this is beautiful and have you spotted the bit that is indeed missing it's this it's the right hand side of the swinging arm beam well, it's not missing in actual fact because this bike is fitted with a single sided swinging arm and oh boy you can spend some big bucks because they make them out of all sorts of very high tech material going from a few hundred pounds to several thousand pounds i mean this particular one that's fitted to this is an absolute work of art it's made by a company called ram and it is absolutely gorgeous and obviously you would complement it with some beautiful wheels some fancy brake systems obviously braided hoses to go on it you'll have a selection of sprockets to go with it some big fat juicy tires to go with it and it will be very natural obviously to find a nice pair of rear sets replace the original equipment bung your brake on here your gear change on the other side a beautiful set in this case harris rear sets there's loads of different brands at loads of different prices and you've probably gathered that there is no end of monies you can spend on whatever bike you've got, fire blades, scooters, cruisers, whatever you've got, we can. And I will get great pleasure in spending your hard earned cash. Which brings me to the fact that, what can I afford? Let me just have a look, let's just see. Oh, maybe just a tax disc holder, if I've got tax.